guys, amazing job on this film. It's, it's great, it's so much drama, but also funny at the same time. You guys did a fantastic job. First Thank question you. I have for the both of you uh, is tell me a little bit about your characters and how they connect with Frank. Uh, we'll start with you, Lois. My character, Aunt Butch, is somebody that Frank knew his whole life. And Alan told me once, looked up into her thick glasses and they were a kind of alarming. <laughs> that was an early clue. I play Kitty. I am Frank's sister-in-law. Um, so I'm, you know, a little bit uh, of an outsider in the family too. I've been a part of the family for a really long time, but you know, I feel probably like I can relate to Frank a little bit more. Sure. Now, uh, both uh, Alan wrote, but he wrote and directed Uncle Frank, yeah. and it's such a personal story to him. Um, and I know Lois, you've worked with him on True Blood in the past, but can you both tell me a little bit about how uh, having him being the director and writer helped shape your characters? Oh, absolutely. First of all, he wrote it, so he gave us these words, and that is all yeah. such an important part of it. And then he is himself, who is, there he is. We can know him, see him, yeah. read his words, uh, be on set with him, be directed by him. It's a, it's a real, it's a real privilege. Um, he, he, he made it. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Absolutely. How about yourself, Judy? How did, uh, how did he help shape uh, and inform your character? Well, he definitely, I mean, when you have the writer also directing you, you definitely want to get your lines right. Um, you don't want to mess up because <laughs> they know. Um, I liked having him there because, you know, you can immediately gauge like if you're getting it right. I mean, this is a really personal story he wrote based on his own family and a lot of his own experiences and, and with his father too. And so, you know, it's like to make sure that I'm representing everything correctly and that I'm, I'm not uh, uh, like they, they say some, sometimes I've heard like commenting on a character, but actually like being a character. So, you, you know, you, I was feeling pretty, pretty proud that when he would, when I'd look up after a take and he'd be happy or smiling or just kind of like overwhelmed once he said it was just so incredible to watch us all together sitting around the table. So that was very flattering and a real honor. And then Lois, what did you want to bring to the role of Aunt Butch that wasn't necessarily uh, on the page? I guess that's um, a continuity maybe. Um, that's a funny thing to say because there, there is a, it, it has to com connect all the grimness, all the funniness, all the curiosity, all the strictness, but um, that, yes, I guess that's what I'd say. Now, Judy, setting the film in the 1970s, uh, how did you think that that that, that setting was, was right for the story and how relevant it still feels to this very day? Well, the story is very relevant and people are still, um, you know, we're still dealing with equality in the LGBTQ community and, and people are still experiencing the, the not coming out to their families and, and fear of that and not being accepted by their families. I think it's incredibly relevant. I think setting stories like this, I mean, if it's not a personal story, which in this case it was for Alan, um, you do get to like, you get to skirt around all of those like, like, sheets with technology too like you're like well someone could have just found him on instagram and seen that he was like at the gay pride march in new york city and known that he, you know what i mean like i just find that we're all leaning on that a lot with storytelling and it's a it's tricky so i enjoy these pieces when you can go back in time enough that that people have to use their own courage to to you know tell a story instead of um their phone <laughs> well, both as of, we're all doing this on zoom right now <laughs> absolutely. both of you did a fantastic job thank you guys so much for your time you guys are both legends in my book thank you guys so much i love your hat by the thank way you. that is so good awesome thank you guys so much you guys are awesome